What's up guys? Super quick video today. I just wanted to show you. I had a couple people ask me how to change out the filament on the Ender 3 V2. So I figured I would make a quick video on that. Um, I'm almost done with the firmware video on how to update your firmware to uh, the Unified, uh, the TH3D Unified 2 or the, the Smith 3D. I think I'm going to do both and then I'm going to reinstall the BL Touch because I had a couple of videos about people wanting to see how to reinstall that so I'm gonna give it one more shot uh, But anyways, so how you change out your filament? It's super simple. Uh, you want to come over here to your menu I just go to prepare and preheat preheat PLA you can go to uh, make sure you can see that good Sorry about that. You can just go to back and go to control and then go to temperature and then hot end temp and then just heat the hot end but um, I just click preheat PLA. The only difference would be if you went to control and then temperature to heat your nozzle would be to uh, just not heat the bed but it's not that big of a deal. I just go preheat PLA oops no media preheat and then uh, preheat PLA. My menu might look a teeny bit different than yours because I have upgraded firmware on here the TH3D Unified um, TH3D Unified 2 firmware, but anyways, uh, you're just preheating your temperatures here. Once your nozzle gets up to about 190, you're good to go. But as that's preheating, I come over here and I will take, um, this is just an extra print to a filament guide. You can get this off of Thingiverse. I'll link it in the description if anybody's curious about it. Uh, you just print it in PLA, but I just come over here. You literally clip your, uh, see where I'm clipping at, clip your uh, your PLA off so you've got enough to grab onto right there and then I'm gonna set the printer down so you can see what I'm, or the camera down so you can see what I'm doing let's see here this is a pain to do by myself sorry about that all right so I'm just gonna pull the spool off or the old spool off and that's what these little notches too on your um, turn it around so you can see here these little notches in your uh, in your spools or so you can see they have them every so often is so you can tuck your filament through there Oop, you don't want to have a bunch of spool up like that but you see how I tucked it in there and then I tuck it back again and that just keeps it pull it tight and that keeps it from tangling or getting any more uh, you know from unspooling it kind of did uh, pop there a little bit and before I use this roll again I'll make sure that's nice and straight you don't want to get any tangles in your filament but anyways, I'm gonna set that filament down. I'm switching out to the black PLA. This is, um, uh, I forget the name of it now. Uh, it's linked in the description though, the black PLA I use. Oh, see this one snapped off. The PLA breaks, you can see it was in that holder, but should check to make sure this is not tangled, but I'm not gonna do that right this second. So put it on your spool, and then I just set um, my filament in the guide thing right there just to hold it for a second and now that our temperature is up to temp we're at uh, 199 200 you go over here to your extruder make sure you can see what I'm doing here sorry if the camera isn't level I'll lower that one second so what I do is you just grab your um, your extruder knob right here push it in a little bit I push in and then pull out all the way out don't stop and then let go so what that does, as you can see, it had a little, uh, it goes all the way, when I push forward, it pushes it into the extru into your nozzle and then pulls it out. It looks like I had a little clog almost going on in there, but it pulled that right out. And now, hopefully this is in good focus, um, you take your new filament and you want to cut it at a good, uh, good angle, 45 degree angle, nice clean cut. That wasn't that clean actually, but you want to have almost a tip on it. Looks a little too bright, sorry about that. But now you just take your filament, make sure you've got enough slack there. Reach around, grab your extruder, open it up, put it in the hole. And it's kind of a pain, you got to kind of, not a pain, but feather. if you feather your uh, extruder a little bit. I felt it go one second. You can feel it pop in the hole, you kind of feather this lever. And then you keep it and you just keep feeding it, keep feeding it till it stops. When I was, uh, one second there, I can tell it's all the way now. So when I very first started doing this, I was nervous to change out filaments. I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, 
you know, I don't want to change it out, but now I change it out all the time. So now you can tell that it's all the way down. It's pushing the old filament out. So now you grab your extruder wheel and you just spin it. Oh, stuck up there. See if I can get it in focus. Sorry if it's not, I'm trying to get everything in the, sh in the shot at the same time. And now you just spin your nozzle slowly, not too fast. I'm just spinning the extruder knob slowly and you can see the filament coming out and you just keep doing that until like it changes colors so I already saw the purple come out right here that's what I had in there and then I can tell that this is black now so I normally do it a little extra too it keeps tangling up right there another way you can tell if you got a clogged nozzle I don't know if this is hundred percent true but I've read this in a couple forms is when you squeeze out your uh, when you extrude your filament it should come straight out like that it shouldn't immediately curl up at the nozzle um, but anyways that's how you change your filament it was super simple and uh, you're good to go now you can turn it off and go to cool down and turn it off I'll show you the firmware that uh, that I'm making the video for so this is the when it boots up BAM look at that Marlin TH3D it's pretty cool stuff but anyways that'll be finished soon and uh, just wanted to do a quick video on uh, changing the filament because I had a couple people asking me about that it's super simple don't be scared to do it put it in the extruder feed it in change filaments a bunch of times it ain't gonna hurt anything uh, it's good to learn anyways so have a good day guys thanks for checking it out peace